Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the right way of adding icons to your tables. You might be used to adding icons the traditional way like right clicking on the field that you want to add the icon, go to conditional formatting and select the icon from this particular drop down and from here in the format style you choose rules and then choose your icons from this particular dialog box. But what if I told you there's an easier way of adding these icons to your tables especially when you have multiple tables by simply using a measure. Now I'm going to show you how to do this so let's get started with this tutorial. Let me show you how to add this in the traditional way that you used to do this earlier. Go to conditional formatting and then select icons. From the format style choose rules and then you would enter the values here. For example let's go ahead with these standard ones here and this needs to be based on sales last year percentage and then click on ok. Now you've added these standard icons here. Let us say that you have to you want to add these icons to your other table that you have as well. Make sure that you are adding these icons on the same measure that we have used. For example I can simply go in here conditional formatting and then go to icons from the format style choose rules what field should this be based on sales last year percentage now if you have to modify all of this you'll have to keep repeating this process for all of your tables for now for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to click on okay now you've added them now let us say that you have you want to change them right you your boss does not like all of these icons that you have used instead he wants to use maybe a triangle up triangle or a down triangle etc so you will now have to go back into each and every visual, go to conditional formatting, icons and then change them manually here. I'm going to show you a better way of adding these icons. So first of all, let me go back and clear the conditional formatting that I have here. Remove conditional formatting all. Repeat the same thing for this table as well. Remove conditional formatting all. Now we will have to create a measure to achieve this. Before I create a measure, let me show you one of the websites that I recently stumbled upon. The credit goes to Francisco Cabrera where he has identified all of the names that belong to these particular icons. Let us say that if you want to use these arrows here, all you have to use is the name here which is colored arrow up for a green arrow. If you want to use the red arrow here, you have to use the text colored arrow up red. Or if you want to use these triangles here, you will have to use triangle low, triangle medium and triangle high. So let us see how to do this. And now back in Power BI, let's start by creating in a measure. I'm going to call this as conditional icon is equals to, I'm going to use the switch statement. Within the switch statement, let's pass in the true for expression here. And then I'm going to say my sales last year percentage is greater than zero. Then I want this to return triangle high, triangle high, close the quotes, comma. On the next line, I'm going to say sales last year percentage is less than zero, then triangle low, triangle low. And if the value is zero, then I need a flat icon. And for that, I can say triangle medium. Let's close the quote, close the bracket and confirm. Our measure is now done. So let's come back to our table here. Right click on the sales last year percentage, go to conditional formatting, go to icons here from the format style. Under what field should we base this on? Let's choose the measure that we just created which is conditional icon. When you click on OK, we automatically have added all of these icons here. Let's repeat the same process here for this table as well. Conditional formatting, icons and from here choose field value and from this particular drop down choose conditional icon, click on OK. We've now added these icons to both of these tables. It was a very simple process. We didn't have to choose all of these icons and enter the numbers manually there. Now, another benefit of using this is, let us say, for example, you publish this report. Now your boss does not like these triangle icons. He wants to change them to maybe something else. Let's come back here. Let's take a look at different options that we have. You can either go with these arrows that we have here, or you can go with these traffic lights that you have, or maybe some of these icons like these, right? Let us say, for example, you want to change these icons now. In, I want to use these colored up arrow red. Now, all I have to do is I just have to change this for triangle high. I just have to say colored arrow up and then and then say colored arrow down and then click on confirm. The moment I do that, you notice that both of my tables have now updated icons. I don't have to change these icons manually on these tables. This is a neat hang that you can try whenever you are adding icons to your tables in your Power BI report. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.